Hey guys, welcome back to MongoDB tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install MongoDB on Windows 10 machine. All right. So installing MongoDB on Windows 10 machine is pretty easy. So first we need to download a MongoDB zip package from the official MongoDB website. And we unzip the MongoDB zip package and we create the directory structure for MongoDB server and uh, we start the mongodb server and we start the mongodb cell and we will see some basic mongodb commands all right so let's open the, your favorite browser and let's uh, type a uh, mongodb download in a browser tab and hit enter yeah here we go just click on this link mongodb.com it's a mongodb download center page from where we are basically downloading mongodb zip package all right all right so look at here there are uh, you know few options like cloud server and tools choose server and here we go so here is the version so keep default current release as it is that is 4.2.2 and uh, here is our operating system so we are going to install mongodb on windows 10 hence choose windows 64 bit all right so you can also choose ubuntu if you have ubuntu machine all right there are uh, you know a lot of op uh, you know, options so mongodb supports all these operating systems all right now let's choose a package so look at here there are two packages one is msi and another is zip so we are going to you know use zip package to install the mongodb all right let's go ahead and let's choose zip package and hit download button all right so this will download a mongodb zip package on local machine yeah here we go so let's wait for a moment it will take a couple of seconds to download Yeah, here we go. So once MongoDB zip package is downloaded, then let's open in a folder. Uh, here we go. So let's unzip it. Right click and uh, unzip this folder, zip file. So you can keep this zip file any, anywhere on your uh, file system as per your choice. So here I'm just extracting this uh, zip file here. So look at here the MongoDB folder. So go to the MongoDB folder and here is a bin folder. So look at here inside bin folder, you can find MongoD and Mongo executable files. So these are the uh, executable files we want to run from the command prompt. So let's open bin directory in a command prompt. And these are the executable files. So this is the MongoD executable file so this file we use to run the mongodb server and this is the mongo executable file so this uh, we use to you know run the mongodb cell all right so these two uh, you know executable files are important so let's go ahead and let's uh, run the mongodb database server just type the command mongodb so this will run a mongodb server so look at here we got some error all right so the error is uh, mongodb could not found this directory because by default mongodb will use uh, this directory structure that is a data slash db to store a mongodb files so we need to create this directory structure in a c drive so let's go to the c drive here and just create the folder right click new folder and name it as a data and go to the data folder and inside data folder let's create a db db folder all right so this is the directory structure that uh, mongodb by default uses to store all its files the files can be a collections documents indexes etc all right 
So once we create the directory structure, let's go ahead and let's run this uh, command again. That is mongod. Now the mongod db server should up and running. Yeah, here we go. So look at here, the MongoDB server is now running on default port 27017. Great. Now our MongoDB database server is up and running. Now let's go ahead and let's uh, run a MongoDB cell. So we basically use MongoDB cell to interact with the MongoDB database server. All right, and later we'll use some MongoDB basic commands to insert, uh, you know, to create a database, create a document, uh, inside the collections, etc. So go to the bin folder again. Open the bin directory in a command prompt and just enter the command mongo. Great. Hit enter. Yeah, here we go. So this will, I know, direct, you know, this will open MongoD cell. Now we have a MongoDB server is up and running, and also we have Mongo MongoD cell. Now let's use some of the MongoDB commands here. So show DBS. So show DBS will list all the databases that are exist. Okay, so by default, look at here, these are the three databases are there. Now let's go ahead and let's create the database. Just use the command use users. So users is the name of the database that uh, I am giving here. And hit enter. So if users database is not present already then MongoDB will create this database and it will connect to this current database all right please subscribe to our youtube channel to view more videos on java ecosystem click click the thumbs up to like our video thanks for watching i will see you in the next video